We haven't done a This Day in History and Transformers in a while, and today is probably one of the most important dates of them all, at least for me and a lot of other Transformer fans. This Day in History, 24 years ago, August 8th, 1986, the Transformers movie made its debut. And we've done this in the past. We've done this this day in history in the past about this topic. But I figured we'd do a little different twist on it this time. And I got the idea from Ultra Primal, one of uh, my longtime friends in the Transformer fandom. You should go check out his channel on YouTube, too. He does really good, comprehensive reviews of the Cyberverse cartoon series and robot, uh, robot, uh, ro robot, rescue bots and beyond. So definitely go check out his stuff. But what I wanted to talk about is how different my life would have been if I never saw that movie. And that's why I, I mentioned just how important that date is. Um, although, to be fair, to be fair, I don't believe I saw it on its debut date, primarily because I'm reminded of that day, and I can remember that day very clearly. Uh, it was already kind of fall a little bit, like there was already like autumn leaves falling and everything. So I want to say that it might have been seen probably the second or third week of uh, of August, not so much the beginning, maybe even September. I wouldn't be surprised, but I know I didn't see it at the beginning. There's no, there's no way that I would have. But I saw it with my next door neighbor, and it changed everything. And I, I've told this story before tons of times, and. You know how my dad got me my first Transformer when I asked for the yellow and red robot, and it wasn't Hot Rod, it was Blaster. Uh, bless him. Anyway, <laughs> so the question really is, what would have happened if I would have never saw that movie? How different my life would have been? Um, considering that the 86 movie came out pretty much at the tail end of Transformers and that following year, and I, I, I even know it myself, like I look at how my life is today, with the 86 movie being part of it and what happened during my childhood. Transformers was a small little piece of it between like, let's say 86 to about 87. Like I, I you know, I got my first Transformer toy um, and then it kind of trailed off because Ninja Turtles became such a huge thing in 87, 88, 89, 90 that literally Ninja Turtles, regardless, would have been a big part of my life. But I remember during one of my birthday parties during that huge Ninja Turtle hype, I got my first Micro Masters. And I remember this kid, Michael, different Michael, um, he bought me a whole bunch of them because he was still kind of into Transformers. And so he bought me a whole bunch of those Micro Master 4 packs, all the different patrols. And I remember going to school and he had a whole bunch and we would trade between each other because, you know, I don't want this one, but I want that one. I remember like trading out uh, Swindler and getting his, uh, I believe it was Power Punch and one of the MicroMaster Combiners because I thought those were so cool. And then one of Power, one of the members of the MicroMaster Combiners kind of became my, you know, stand in Megatron. But again, all of that would have never happened if I never saw the 86 movie. Maybe Michael would have bought me those transformer toys regardless and that would have been my first transformer toys those micro masters but that's an alternate timeline but then what would have happened afterwards and i think the really big turning point more than anything which would have created my nostalgia for transformers comes from beast wars i remember sitting in my sister's room she had a little crappy tv in the corner it was a saturday morning and we were watching uh, the ocean dub of Dragon Ball. This was 1995, I want to say, 95, late 95. And we were watching the ocean dub of the original Dragon Ball. Not Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball. And the commercial for the Beast Wars toys showed up for the first time. This is long before the, 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 the cartoon was out yet. And I was intrigued by it because prior to that, you know, I caught some episodes of G1 via Generation 2 watching episodes that way, really liking the Inferno toy that G2 had and had the water shooting gimmick. So seeing Cheetor in that commercial also having the water shooting gimmick, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, I, I like Transformers and now it's Beast Wars. And so I think that, you know, seeing the 86 movie, watching G2 in the 90s and then watching, uh, seeing that Beast Wars commercial and then being interested in wanting to get Beast Wars stuff and then, of course, seeing the Beast Wars show, that really helped a lot, too, of me continuing that interest. And I think the biggest turning point of them all comes from when I got the Internet. 
when I got the internet in 1995, and I remember it was like just when I had started school. So if I had to really pinpoint it, it was probably like 1995 November, I would say, or, or December. Um, one of the first things that I looked for was Transformers, just because it was like, hey, you know, I want to look up Transformer stuff. If it wouldn't have been Transformers, it I think the other two things I probably would have looked up would have been Mega Man or Nintendo stuff and Dragon Ball. At that time, who who Proto Man was at that time, it would have been that. It would have been video game related stuff like Mega Man and Super Mario and Street Fighter and it would have been Dragon Ball. Which even Dragon Ball, I learned about Dragon Ball back in 93 because of video game magazines, EGM Monthly and stuff like that, showing the Dragon Ball Super Famicom games. So I, you know, it's a lot of it is grounded. I mean, again, the Proto Man name comes from from video games and and Mega Man. So there's that whole history there. So I like to believe that, you know, and and the, the the comment that Ultra Primal said was, you know, because of that '86 movie, it changed my life forever. And yes, it did. Gave me all these opportunities, you know, creatively, and and monetary wise, and you know, it changed my life forever because I I, I firmly 100% believe I would not be. Uh, where I am today, if not seeing that 86 movie and the domino effect that comes from it. I'm reminded of the old movie, Groundhog Day, star- starring uh, Bill Murray, and how that movie, like the, the message that movie has more than anything, it shows how one day could completely change your life. It's just how you tackle it. And it could be a, a throwaway nothing day, or it could be a day that you do something and it changes your life forever. And that movie kind of really conveys that. And it's kind of the same thing here, where if I would have never saw that movie... I don't think uh, I don't think we'd be having the. You wouldn't be hearing my voice. You wouldn't be having this conversation, and I wouldn't have. I wouldn't be in a room right now, surrounded by thousands of Transformer toys. I look around and I go, "What would have this room would have been? Would I even have bought this house with that intention? I probably would have because I probably would have just doubled down on the video game stuff. But it's just who knows what my life would have been there." I firmly believe I think I probably would have went deeper into the Nintendo and video game stuff, and that would have been my primary focus. It still really is. I mean, I like the Transformer room that you guys see in my streams um, is pretty crazy, but I got just as crazy a video game room in this house, so the, it balances out. But I think I would have probably just doubled down on it. And maybe the Dragon Ball thing would have been stronger. Who knows? I mean, I still love Dragon Ball, but it's like maybe I would have you know, gotten into the Dragon Ball fan community and started that early. And then maybe when YouTube would have came around, I would have done Dragon Ball videos, or maybe I would have been more hardcore. I was part of, of the early Mega Man community back in the day. That's kind of how I met guys like Ego Raptor and uh, Zero X and Spectra and so many people from that community, but, you know, through Espernet and, and MS, uh, MIRC. But I like to believe that uh, maybe I would have been more deeper into that stuff. Who knows? Who knows? It's 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 something that I always think about though because it's it's so crazy what has come from me. You know, I'm one of the lucky fans that I was able to take being a fan of this and take it to an extreme and then get these all these opportunities to work professionally on the brand, to create stuff, to to create figures, to create fiction, to to like I mean, the fact that I could look now and go, hey, I loved Beast Wars as a as a kid, and then go, I altered some parts of Beast Wars lore by what I did through fun publication and Hasbro. You know, so it's 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 crazy when you think about that kind of stuff and the opportunities. And I always thank all the people, Jesse and Pete and everybody and Aaron, all of them who gave me different opportunities at different points to uh, to be creative within this hobby. And then, of course, all the 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 creative artistic people that I got to do comics with, whether it be Alex Milne, Joshua Perez, you know, uh, Thomas Deere, Matt Frank, uh, the list goes on and on. It's uh, it's nutty, you know. Damon Bat. It goes on and on and on. It's 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 amazing stuff. It's amazing stuff, and it all started because of this movie, you know. And it it it's just it's such a deep reflection, because we all kind of have those things where we ask ourselves like, if this would have never happened, where I would be today, and I don't know. I know that judging by my 
the way that I am and how I really go crazy and balls deep into stuff and how dedicated I am to like pop culture and everything. I know at least for a fact that whatever I would have been into, I would have given it 110%. Who knows? Maybe I would be ha- would have been having this conversation going, oh, you know, me and Enafune, we worked on Mega Man 12, you know. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, it's so arrogant for me to say something like that, but who knows? Who knows? I would have never imagined, you know, when I was watching, like, the first season of Beast Wars, that one day I was going to be deciding, you know, what Tarantulas' background is or, or working on comics professionally with some individuals. It's... It's something I would have never imagined back then, so it's hard for me to imagine where I would have been, like, let's say, in the Nintendo world or the Mega Man world or the Dragon Ball world, and the way I would have tackled it, too. Who knows? But, yeah, it's it's just something crazy to think about. And it all started because of that movie. And tonight, same thing, we're going to talk about Transformers. We're going to do a stream tonight, Saturday. So this, uh, this evening, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, we'll do some hanging out and talk about some Transformers. I haven't decided if I'll have a guest on yet, or if it'll just be me, or if it'll be me and Jaws D. We'll, we'll figure it out. I always try to see how people's schedules are, and if not, we'll just hang out and we'll do some Q&A, some super chats, and just talk Transformers and uh, reminisce about the 86 movie and what's happening right now with the new fiction we have with Siege and and the new toy lines and all the new information that keeps dropping. And uh, yeah, just wanted to just touch on that quickly with this day in history, August 8th, 1986, 34 years ago. Transuforma, the movie motion.